Do you have your relaxed fit straight leg jeans yet? Today I'm sharing four pair of straight relaxed fit jeans from four of your favorite brands. So join me. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you have dropped in for a little style inspiration. Boy, you know what? To these days, there's so many heavy things going on in life. It is sometimes nice just to think about something like fashion and beauty. And so I am so glad that you came my way today. My name is Kay. I blog at dressformyday.com and each week, every Wednesday morning, I upload videos here for women just like you, women 50 and above. And hey, if you're under 50, you are so welcome here too. I am so glad that you've joined us too. But today we're talking about those straight leg, relaxed fit jeans that are all the rage. You know, really, that is simply the direction that jean styles are going these days. It doesn't mean you can't wear your skinny jeans, but really jeans are just going towards a little bit more relaxed fit, straighter. Now we've talked before here, that doesn't mean you have to wear the really wide leg or the really relaxed fit where they just look like they're falling off of you. You know, that we can still look very slim and slender in these straight leg relaxed fit jeans. And especially my top tip is to shop with a brand that you're familiar with and that you love. Now, there are plenty of other brands I could have included in today's video. I love the jeans at Madewell. They do a great job with jeans. I actually like Everlane's jeans a lot. And I also like jeans that you can, of course, buy at places like Nordstrom or Ever Eve. Uh, or Kohl's or JCPenney or just wherever. So you can find great jeans everywhere. And I really had to narrow it down to what I could find in a store this week, okay? <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm gonna show you four pairs of jeans from four of your favorite brands, or at least four of my readers and viewers' favorite brands. It may not even be your particular favorite brands. And I'm going to show them mostly in the lightest wash I could find because Light wash is in again this year. It really is trending to wear lighter wash jeans. Now you can still wear your darker wash and I will tell you when darker wash is available in the jeans I'm sharing, but I'm gonna go ahead and show them in what's really more fresh and current, which is that lighter wash. I'm also gonna be showing each pair of jeans in two outfits. So I've kind of put together outfits that I think reflect the brand that these jeans are from. Now I'm using pieces from that brand, but not everything. I, I can't afford any more than you can just to go buy everything from four brands <laughs> and show it. So I'm gonna be trying to show you though how I think that brand would really reflect in their jeans. So you'll get to see them accessorized and put together. And I'm trying to do an outfit with each pair of jeans that is kind of a transition into fall, that's maybe something you could wear now, and then something you would wear later. And then the last thing I want you to know about all these looks before we get started and we're getting there, is that I'm showing a variety of footwear because I want you to see how to wear these relaxed fit straight leg jeans with the footwear that you have in your closet or perhaps that you might want to purchase if you're interested in some of these looks. All right, let's get started. The first look is from Chico's. And at Chico's, I am showing their boyfriend ankle jeans and they run true to size and these are in their seaside indigo they do have other washes available and they also have some with with embroidery on the leg but that's not really my personal style aesthetic i didn't really know if it would be yours so i stuck with just the regular lighter wash jean in these uh, boyfriend ankle jeans and in this first look i'm showing them i'm wearing an animal foil tee it's in kind of an orangey uh, coral color and it's got some foil gold um, splashes in there I guess like an animal print uh, print there and it's in made in their touch of cool fabric and Chico says that is designed to feel incredibly comfortable and cool to the touch so this is really a nice transition look or a menopausal look <laughs> right and I'm wearing this with some drop disc earrings that are from Chico's. I'll have links to everything, ladies, that's available in the description box below. 
and I'm wearing some stretch bracelets. I'm not really sure all these are available. I've bought them over the last couple of years, but I will link to what is similar. And then on my feet, I am wearing some boots. Now with these are the, with Chico's, I'm gonna be showing you a couple of options with boots. And these first ones are some Eileen Fisher split shaft boots and they're actually a fabric boot and so they're really nice for transitioning into the fall but you can see with them that i'm wearing the jeans full length i've got them unfolded i don't have them you know cuffed up or anything and they work great with this boot because you want a little bit of skin to show or you want the jean to completely cover the shaft of the boots love this look these are great jeans Actually, I'm wearing them right now as I'm making this video and they feel really good on. The second look I'm showing you though is with their Henley Slub Cotton Tee. It also has this elbow length sleeve with a little bit of a cuff and a button. So that's some more just detailing to the sleeve that's really nice. But I have covered it with their Desert Garden Ruana. Now, I, originally when I saw this, I thought this doesn't look like fall, but you know what? This Ruana has four of the colors that are really trending this fall, which are this deep blue, gray, a chocolate brown, and of course yellow. Yellow is like one of the colors of the year, and here they've given it a really deep, rich hue of yellow. So really this Ruana is great for the fall. It does have short sleeves, and so that's nice for us who get a little warm, and it has an optional tie belt, but y'all, I tried that thing and it just did not work for me. So I wouldn't really suggest tying it because I think that's gonna add bulk and weight to the look. So unless you are just pencil thin, girlfriend, <laughs> I would put that tie belt away and let it create that beautiful column like it does here. Now here I'm wearing some Chelsea boots in that deep, rich chocolate brown and I have cuffed the jeans because they needed to be cuffed because they don't really fit just real well over the boot. If the, the shaft of this boot were just a little bit closer to my leg, or maybe if the jeans were a little bit longer, if the jeans were a little bit longer, they would work beautifully with these boots. So a Chelsea boot with a narrow shaft really is a good boot to have in your closet to wear with this style of jean but remember, I'm five foot eight. So if you're a little bit shorter than me or you have shorter legs than I do, then this boot and this jean combination probably will work on you. I'm wearing those same earrings. I have on a gold necklace just because I needed something to fill the neckline and I have on those same stretch bracelets. Okay, so that's our look from Chico's. The next one up, we're going in alphabetical order, by the way. I didn't want to like favor one or the other. We're going to J. Crew. Now, J. Crew is really kind of known, in my opinion, to be a modern preppy look. And that's how I think of J. Crew is that modern preppy style. And so I have chosen their slim boyfriend jean. They do run true to size. I'm wearing a size 30, which is the higher of my normal sizes. I wear 29s and 30s. So I would go with the higher of your normal size. Um, that's if you really do want that relaxed fit. If you want a slimmer fit even, or you like a snug jean, then size down. But I'm wearing them with a cropped, cotton sweater in a deep chocolate brown. The sweater comes in some other colors too, and it is meant to be kind of oversized. It has big oversized floppy sleeves. It, in the, on the website, they even show the models, of course, are wearing it off their shoulder and all that, but I'm not doing that. I'm just letting it be a nice wide collar around my neck. And I am wearing it with pearl drop earrings that I also got at J. Crew. These were on sale, so I'm not sure they're still available. And my shoes are by Everlane. They are their classic loafers or, or their modern loafers, I think it is, by Everlane. And then I do have on a little gold necklace just to fill that space. So I love this look. It has that preppy but very modern look because of the silhouette of the jeans and the sweater. Now my second look from J. Crew, I'm using of course those same jeans, but this time I'm wearing a white V-neck vintage cotton tee from J. Crew. 
a leopard print belt that I also got from J. Crew. Y'all, you need a leopard print belt. It's such a great way to add a splash of leopard without going overboard. <laughs> and then I have on a navy knit sweater blazer. This sweater blazer comes in several different colors. I think there is an ivory and a oatmeal and a black. I'm not really sure if there's anything else, but I chose the navy here because I do think it really creates a nice, just a column of navy, and I really like that. Now, the manager at J. Crew was wearing almost this same outfit, and she had on these huge oversized pearls that were originally from J. Crew. Now, mine are from Chico's that I bought a year ago or so, but I love the idea of wearing these oversized pearls with this blazer, these jeans, and of course, I have on my Madewell trainer. She was wearing these some Madewell trainers very similar to these and she looked amazing. She was in her 40s. Of course, she was cute as a button, but I wanted to duplicate that look. And you know what, ladies? I think we absolutely can do that. So I, I love these two looks from J. Crew. What do you think? Did you like those looks from J. Crew? Are you beginning to see how you can wear these straight leg jeans? See the fit, how they look. They can still be slenderizing, slim fit. You're seeing the shoes. We've worn boots. We've worn loafers, we've worn trainers. Let's see what I have with J. Jill. That's my next brand I wanna show you. So many of my readers and viewers love J. Jill. With J. Jill, I purchased at the store their boyfriend straight leg ankle jeans. Now keep in mind, ladies, that a lot of times you can get more things online than you can in the stores. I was very limited. At course, as far as my size. In fact, they did not even have my size in these jeans. So I had to go with a size 10. I normally wear a size eight at J. Jill. So I sized up to a 10. They fit me fine, but they, if they stretch, they might get too big for me. I'm wearing a floral print peasant top here. Just a sweet little print. I really like this cut. It's very flattering. Um, but it also will just transition nicely into fall. You, of course, later I'll wear it with a jacket over it. I've got on some silver demi hoop earrings, uh, some beaded uh, stretch bracelets, and then I have on my slides from Madewell, and these are still available. I've had them now for a year or two, but they are still available, I think, or at least something similar. And they do have a little bit of a heel, but this is also a nice little transitional shoe, especially as we transition into fall. So I think you can see there, that's another way to wear those jeans is with a little bit of a heel and either a mule or a slide like these. Now for my second look with J. Jill, of course I'm wearing those same jeans, but now I'm wearing my reversible white tank. This reversible tank was actually already in my closet but it is from J. Jill. I love it because if you wear it one direction, you have a scoop neck, you turn it around the other way, and it has a V-neck. I'm wearing it with the V-neck, which is my preference. I have on a long denim colored knit blazer. It's very long, but isn't it luscious? And I'm wearing the same jewelry, but I also am wearing a bird scarf. Well, I say a bird scarf. I don't know what they call it, <laughs> but it's a scarf with some birds. It has little tassels on it. I think it's darling. And I've just kind of draped it inside the, the blazer because I think that just really is, just gives a little class to this outfit. And here I'm wearing it with my suede mules. Um, these I bought last year, I think in the Nordstrom sale, I think, but I can link to similar ones uh, that are available either at Nordstrom, and they also have some very similar to this available at Talbot's if you prefer to shop there. So I'll link to both of those below. And then I'm wearing some silver necklaces by Goriana around my neck. I love this look. These are great jeans. J. Jill's pants and jeans don't fit me just great, but if you are a normal J. Jill shopper, if that's something that you love, then, then I think you're gonna like these. And let me interject right here. One of the reasons I'm showing you these four different brands is because you know what, it's really important, I think, to understand that brand loyalty is not just about building rewards at that store or convenience. It's also about finding a brand that creates sizing that really fits your body. 
Do you realize that every brand uses different size models? And those size models are the ones that they really make their clothes for. So if you find a brand that consistently fits, it's because that size model probably looks like you. <laughs> or at least they have one in their line that looks like you or, or her body is like yours. So it's a great thing to find a brand that you love to shop. Now our next brand, of course, that I'm going to share with you is from Talbot's. And at Talbot's, I am wearing their everyday relaxed jeans and I'm wearing the ones with the light wash. They also have these in a darker wash. The dark wash has a finished hem, but this light wash has a raw edge and I love that. I, these are probably the more relaxed jeans of the ones that I'm showing. Talbot's of course has other just straight leg jeans. They have what they call their uh, modern straight ankle jean. They have a, a, a couple of other straight jeans, but I really love these everyday relaxed jeans. They are just so amazingly comfortable. So I definitely suggest you size down at least one size. I size down in a, to a six in these and they still have a nice relaxed fit. I'm wearing them with a sleeveless print cotton shell in green and then also a green cotton blend cardigan. I love this green is really trending this, this fall. I chose to wear this outfit with these beautiful gold loafers. I love gold shoes. <laughs> There's just something about gold sandals or gold, gold loafers or gold flats. I am a sucker for it. And so I'll, I've just purchased these gold loafers. I just think they really add some brightness and light to this outfit. Have on a gold chain necklace and gold hoop earrings. Now in our second look, I wore a pink V-neck tee. Um, this tee has a little bit of detailing around the neck, which I really love. And I'm wearing it with a sand colored field jacket that they have now at Talbot's and some sand colored mules, some suede mules. I love these mules. They feel good, they walk well. Don't you hate it when your, your mules just like fall off your feet? Well, these won't fall off your feet. They stay on really nicely. And in case you're wondering, like I said, they also have some flat mules in, in the same color. So if heels are not your thing, they do have some flats and I'll link to those too. I'm wearing some teardrop earrings and the same necklace that I wore before. So there you go, four different brands of straight relaxed fit jeans and eight different outfits with eight different pairs of shoes. So I hope that you got some, you know, just some good information about how to accessorize these jeans, how to wear them, what shoes to wear with them. But if you have questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer your questions. I have links to everything that's available. If it's available, I've got your link below, so be sure to check there. And also be sure to visit me at my blog at dressformyday.com. We are walking through getting ready for fall there at the blog too. I've got my fall wardrobe essentials post up. I've got, you know, fall outfits and like early fall outfits available there. So be sure to check me out there. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up below. That really helps out my channel. And it also really helps me out when you subscribe. So I hope you will do that before you leave too. Thanks ladies. I hope you have a beautiful day.